So I did a video about belts and how fantastic they are. And they are fantastic. A lot of people, um, yeah, COVID can't find theirs anymore. <laughs> so here are a couple of illusions or tricks you can do to define your waist, even if you don't have one. Trick number one when you don't have a waist and you want to show one is buy your shirts a little larger so that you have some fabric to play with for the illusion. This one's big. And rather than just wear it schlumpy, sticking out like this, I wanted to find a little bit of waist. So I'm just gonna do halfway, not the full tuck, and do it on an angle. It's gonna hide a bit of tummy that I'm gonna have, and at the same time, show a higher point where my waist should be. And it'll look like you have one. Okay, next look, classic jeans and a shirt. We all have them. But rather than choose a pair of low-waisted skinnies, choose a pair of high-waisted baggier pants. So they're going to give you a little bit of volume in your hips, which will juxtapose against the smaller waistline. You see? Also, your shirt. It allows you to do that crisscross that I love. You take one side and just crisscross it into the other side, and all of a sudden, the drape against the high waist of the line of the jean gives you a much smaller waist. Choose your shirts one size bigger so that you have enough fabric to do that crisscross. I usually take my shirts in a medium, unless I know for sure that I'm never gonna do this, which is rare because I love this look. How do I make this waist defined in something as big as a caftan? Take a blazer. Okay, so a couple of things I want to talk about here with the blazer. Number one, shoulder pad. Shoulder pads are a waistband's best friend, or a waistline rather, because the bigger the shoulder, the smaller your waist looks. I mean, remember how big this caftan was? You may not find a blazer with a curvy enough waistline. Just take it to your tailor. It's infinitely worth the 30 or $40 to take it in it sort of lengthens you against this tight little waist. The third thing, obviously, is a peplum blazer. It's fantastic for a waist because it naturally has one. So if ever you see blazers with cuts at the waistline in the back, wrapped up. Okay, I must be the only person left in the world with a Byron Lars 1980s shirt dress. This is 1980s, ladies and gents. But anyway. Enough about the Byron Lars shirt dress. I know, yes, I need a little red lip because the shirt makes me look like death without it. But the reason why I've got it on is because of the crisscross in this dress. I mean, how teeny tiny does my waist look? When you see dresses that have some sort of ruching or crisscrossing, grab it. It'll give you definition. Okay, one more thing that has nothing to do with the waist. Sorry, I digress. Shirt dresses. A shirt dress comes from what? A men's shirt. It's sort of like a play on the men's shirt. What better shoe to wear with a men's shirt dress than a cool, funky brogue? And it looks really fun with a shirt dress. Look, here's a ruched one from Zara this season. Haven't had a chance to wear it yet, but whatever, it was so good because it has the gathers right there at the waist. And it also hides any tummy stuff. Also, little note, again, look, I put a cool menswear shoe with it, with an amazing neon tip, never mind. Whoops, look, snap's coming off. Hold on. <laughs> because I'll get to wear it more often, casually, rather than all sexy with a heel all the time. Okay, I love how a line of a boot that goes underneath the dress, doesn't cut your leg at all, and gives you a little length. Love that. But anyways, we're talking about waistlines. How do I turn this cost sack sweater dress into something with a waistline? So this is probably my favorite, favorite little trick when it comes to waists, and that is a cropped jacket. Cropped jean jacket? Happens to be my favorite thing in the world. This one right now is my go-to everything. Why? A few reasons. Firstly, all of a sudden, even though I still have no waist, 
this is look is now giving me a semblance of something cutting me at my waistline. You see that? Even if you have a big old paunch, you're still going to look like there is definition because visually there's a horizontal line right across your waist and it's short, it's high, it's literally at your waistline. This one's Ganny or Janny, I don't know how to pronounce it, but a few things I want you to look at or look for rather. Number one is a wide dolman sleeve for the winter especially so you can put sweaters underneath and bulkier things. It's hard to find so what you do is you make it. All you do is you buy yourself an old bigger jean jacket which is cut the bottom to your waistline and then you've got an oversized jean jacket that you can throw over top all kinds of bulkier things. Okay last tip one of my favorites higher than your waist skirts and pants. They're like girdles that are usually darted or they have elastics or something inside that kind of cinches you and it sucks you in and gives you a really good waist without cutting you with the belt. So that's the end of the story. Don't forget, we are all beautiful in our own ways, whether we have waists or not.